Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Altogether, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, to and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what, in what I have failed, failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters, to pray, pray for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, what more shall I say? I have not time to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah of David, and Samuel, and the prophets, who by faith conquered kingdoms, did what was righteous, obtained the promises. They closed the mouths of lions, put out raging fires, escaped the devouring sword. Out of weakness, they were made powerful, became strong in battle, and turned back foreign invaders. Women received back their dead through resurrection. Some were tortured and would not accept deliverance in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others endured mockery, scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, sawed in two, put to death at sword's point. They went about in skins of sheep or goats, needy, afflicted, tormented, the world was not worthy of them. They wandered about in deserts and on mountains, in caves and in crevices in the earth. Yet all these, though approved because of their faith, did not receive what had been promised. God had foreseen something better for us so that without us, they should not be made perfect. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, that you have in store for those who fear you and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, whose wondrous mercy He has shown me in a fortified city. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Once I said in my anguish, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard the sound of my pleading when I cried out to you. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you His faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than regrets, those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Please stand. <laughs> A 
great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of Gerasens. When he got out to the boat, at once a man from the tombs who had an unclean spirit met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of that man. And he asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from that territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them. And he let them and then clean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd about 2,000 rushed down a step bank into the sea. They were drowned. The swine's herd ran away and reported the incident in the town and threw out the countryside. The people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by legion sitting there, clothed in his right mind, and they were amazed with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As they getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But Jesus would not permit him, but told him instead, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him. And all were amazed. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are here today, and of course, to recognize the true goodness of God that we have right now. And also for those or all that we are praying for. Generally, my dear brothers and sisters, we give thanks to Him. We acknowledge the presence of God in us, who is the source of our life, the source of our strength, our source of our mind, and the source of our hope. We receive all of these. Undeniably, my dear brothers and sisters, we are so blessed. 
lahat tayo ay pinagpapala ng Diyos. Lahat tayo ay mapalad sa Kanya. That is why we would say, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. We experience His power through these blessings that we have right now. Because God putting us into a proper disposition, we are putting into the right mind, and we are putting in the right or a very good life today. Mga minamahal kong kapatid, ngayon po tayo ay nagkakatipon-tipon. Kinikilala po natin ang Diyos dahil sa kanyang kadakilaan, dahil binibigyan niya tayo ng mabuting kalagayan, mabuting kaisipan, at mabuting pangangatawan. Tunay nga ang mga biyaya ng Diyos na ipinagkakalob sa atin araw-araw. In our gospel today, Jesus encountered possessed man. Inaalihan ng malakas na masamang spirito. The evil spirit is real. That is why we give thanks to the Lord right now for being good disposition, not possessed by the evil spirit. The spirit is real within us, mother, brothers, and sisters. Inaalihan ng masama at hindi lang masama, malakas na masamang spirito. That is why Jesus asked him, What is your name? Legion. Mother, brothers, and sisters, legion means or consists of 5,000 or more strong army as compared. Imagine, my dear brothers and sisters, sobrang lakas, kumbaga. Malakas nga ang, mad- ang masamang spirito. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, but when Jesus encounters the man possessed by a legion of demons, the demons directly recognize him, saying, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? The demons cannot deny his divinity. By this evil power, he can make powerless. The divinity of Jesus, the evil power, can make powerless. Again, we are assured right now that Jesus is with us, fully divine, equipped of true power that brings us into healing, that brings us restoration and bring us to newness of life. This was happened in our gospel today. Possessed man by legion, was restored in his right mind. Ibinalik ni Jesus ang inaalihan sa mabuting kalagayan, sa mabuting kaisipan. And now, mother, brothers and sisters, we hold on the power that gives us infinite goodness that can only be found to Jesus. Panghawakan po natin itong kapangyarihan ni Jesus upang tayo'y totoong makakaranas ng kagandahang loob at kagandahang biyaya ng Diyos na ipinagkakaloob sa atin. My dear brothers and sisters, do not be convinced of evil spirit. Do not be convinced of evil doings because that spirit is not infinite in end that make us closer to goodness. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, do not convince of evil spirit because that spirit is not infinite and that make us closer to goodness, make us closer to holiness. His action, my dear brothers and sisters, may cause us grave injuries anxieties, depression, insecurities, and doubts. One of my readings, my dear brothers and sisters, that I would like to share 
there are kinds of grounds that believers can give to evil spirit. Ito daw yung mga pamamaraan o mga kalagayan kung paano natin tinatanggap at nararanasan ang masamang spirito. First, the renewed mind. Second, improper thoughts. Third, misunderstanding of God's truth. And receiving suggestion from evil spirits and being empty mind. Dito gumagalaw, pumapasok ang mamasamang spirito na umaali-aligid sa ating buhay sa pang-araw-araw. My dear brothers and sisters, be careful, be careful always. Evil spirit is always looking for a room, always looking for a weak self, always looking for a weak body to interfere, to make us shattered, to make us ruined. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, be careful of evil spirit because always looking for a room always looking for space or time to make us shattered or ruined. Let us always, my dear brothers and sisters, protect ourselves not to fall into the evil influences. Let us always cry out to Jesus to protect us from all evils. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, by this action that we have, the power of Jesus is revealed to us. The power of God is revealed to us. The power of goodness, the power of holiness, the power of protection in wholeness. And this is our prayer today because evil spirit is also real in us. But don't worry, the power of God subside this power of evil. God always protect us. God has always guide us in our everyday life. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters gathered together in Christ who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with the prayerful intentions and every petition we say, Most High God, protect us. Most High God, protect us. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and deacons may help us to remain strong in our faith in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Most, Most high, high God, God protect, protect us. us. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak boldly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Most, Most high, high God, God protect, protect us. us. That those who are hardened in sin and may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways, let us pray to the Lord. Most, Most high, high God, God protect, protect us. us. That we may render support, especially to those who are embittered by suffering and pain, let us pray to the Lord. Most, Most high, high God, God protect, protect us. us. That our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Most high, high God, God protect, protect us. us. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself be a gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy their farthest gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you have poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, may be God and to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and will have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for him by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. As, as we, we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only you say word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us quiet and alive. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, through faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.